Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about how I apply my false lashes. I got a couple requests to do this on my Instagram and I thought it was a really good idea because I love applying false lashes. It's one of my favorite parts of doing my makeup. So if you're interested in seeing how I apply my false lashes, then just keep watching. By the way, ignore how crazy I look right now. I worked at 8 o'clock this morning, so we're not having it today. And also, while I show you how I apply my false lashes, I am going to do kind of like a first impressions of this little eyelash applicator. I got it today at Ulta. Um, I just saw it while I was working and I figured since I'm doing this video today, I might as well get it and see if it works. I'm going to do one eye with my regular tweezers and then one eye with the lash applicator just so y'all can see like how I usually apply them and then the first impressions with the other eye. The lashes I'm applying today are going to be the Arda Wispies. I'm sure y'all seen these everywhere, but they're just really easy to apply. They're really good like beginner lashes, I guess. And the glue that I'm going to be using today is this Duo Clear Gel. I prefer clear because I use black ones and like if you stick it on the wrong spot at first, you'll get black everywhere and it gets super messy. So I prefer the clear and I recommend the clear just because it's a lot cleaner than the black one. And also make sure you're getting the glue off like the second time you wear it. Make sure you just peel off the glue. Like I don't know if y'all will be able to see. How you can just peel it right off. Make sure you're doing that because that'll make it to where you can wear your lashes a lot more times. I wear my lashes about like five to six times, the same pair, and it's because I peel off the glue every time I'm gonna re put them on. Also, another little tip when you're putting on the glue, hold the lash like <sighs> to where it's curving like this, and you're applying the glue to the back of the lash. I don't know if that makes sense. So you see how it's curving like down? That's how you want to apply the glue. Oh my gosh, I just squirted glue all over myself. You just want to put the glue on the back of the lash. That'll make it to where you're not going to see like as much white as you would because sometimes it doesn't dry all the way clear, but that'll prevent it if you're applying it to the back of the lash. Once you get the glue on, it should look something like that. Not too much, but not too little. You want to get enough on there to where it's going to stay there all day, but then you don't want to put too much to where you have goop all over your eye, so just a thin layer and then just blow on it. You want to kind of let it dry for a while, like longer than you would think you would. You just want to grab it by the middle and just stick it on to where the middle is sticking to the middle of your eye, just, so just pop it on like that. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm just sticking the center of the lash to the center of my lid. That's just the way I start out. And then after I have that on, I just pop on each end of the lash. So I start with that outer corner, and then I work with the inner corner. And you just stick them right on there. Okay, so now I'm just going over my natural lash and the false lashes, and I'm squeezing at the base to pull the false lashes towards my natural lashes. This is going to prevent that gap between your false lashes and your actual lashes. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye with the Ulta Lash Applicator. Okay, so same process again. I'm just sticking on the center of the lash, and then I'm pulling in the corners. And sorry, I kind of went out of frame here, but it's just the same thing as the other eye. I'm just sticking on each corner of the lashes. And this tool made it super easy to pull the fell slashes with the natural lash it just like got a lot more area than the tweezers and sometimes the tweezers tend to poke me and so this just made it really smooth and easy to pull the lashes together okay so my camera did stop recording at the end but i loved this tool and i do plan to use it from now on it just made it super super easy all right and that's it i hope this tutorial helped you and just remember practice makes perfect